After a busy, fun day yesterday, I've decided to take a look at some of the cultural spots of Athlone. Behind me is Athlone Castle and Loon Gallery, so come on, let's take a look. Athlone Castle is a treat for all the family, with courtyard picnic facilities and picturesque town views. The 12th century stone castle was built for King John by Bishop John de Grey of Norwich, designed to defend the crossing point of the river at Athlone. Athlone Castle reopened in 2012 after extensive renovations. The Great Siege of Athlone is relived in a 360 cinematic experience, transporting visitors to the centre of the 1691 battle. Recently, we received a photograph of the Loon Gallery for our Camera Club competition. It was shot at night and the colours were amazing. And as I stroll across the street, the Loon Gallery is buried across the road. The gallery showcases some of the most interesting artists from the Midlands and across the country. Entry is completely free, and if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one tour, well, that's free too. Well, after all that culture, I think it's time for lunch. Wow, what a view. You might recognize Wineport Lodge from various television programs. As you can see, it's one of the most peaceful places I've ever visited. It's situated on the shores of Lockery's Inner Lake and the scenery is stunning. And if you fancy yourself as a bit of a golfer, well, the Glasson Golf Hotel is directly across the lake. Lunch finished, now it's time to visit the Celtic Root Studio in the village of Ballinahown only 10 minutes outside Athlone. I see a little challenge coming along. So Helen, we're here at your Celtic Roots studio. So tell us exactly where we are. Okay, so we're in a tiny village, Ballinahan, we're about seven miles from Athlone. And I have to say straight up, we're Tidy Towns winners in Westmead. I just said it the minute we arrived in, I said this yeah. is a beautiful little town yeah. and should have won it, and it has. It has, yeah. Some of the pieces that we're looking at, what on an average, how long would it take you to make some of your it pieces? It takes from a couple of days to weeks to maybe depending months, on the size depending on the size so we but go the two from... years is needed to dry it out so yeah. obviously you have this been dried out all the time years in advance absolutely yeah mm. so if somebody comes and says i want you know commission you're kind of thinking oh my goodness what do, do i have, have the in piece the yeah, yeah, yeah what, yeah. Do I, what have or i got else in the yard somebody says look it's a big commission and we can wait then somebody might have to wait a couple of years so there's a little challenge alan for me today you're going to ask me to maybe try and make something out of some bog oak yeah so we're going to go with something kind of big and Bold. no problem to you yeah, no problem absolutely. i think yeah. the bigger the probably the yeah. less mess i'll yeah. make or it'll, yeah. it'll look okay anyway now i might be okay at the boxing and the gaa in my challenges but i'm not too sure about this though Okay, so Helen, what's my challenge? Okay, your challenge is to create a magnificent sculpture out of this root. Out of this root here? No pressure. So one of my easier challenges. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this, this has been dried for two years? This has been dried for two years, and this is the actual root of the very ancient oak tree. Yeah. Oh, so you just keep doing that? Yeah. You can see it coming off. And then off, what right. you do is you can start got... to no, go a little bit slower. Oh, slower. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. I'm getting, you're... Too, I'm getting yeah. Yeah. too anxious yeah. here. So, Helen, what do you think? Magnificent. Isn't You're it magnificent? Natural. Look at me, I'm a natural. It only took me five days, but we're here. We've yeah. done it. And if you want a career change. I, I tell you, I might I'll just wait. come and do it. I, as I said, newfound respect yeah, and admiration for people you. who do this type Good. of work. It is incredible. And thank you for showing us. Yeah, no, today. and thank you for visiting. Well, that wasn't too bad of a challenge, but I'm off into Athlone Town now to try my hand at another. Now, what better place to have a drink but in Ireland's oldest pub, Sean's. Sean's Bar is a local treasure when it comes to Athlone. 
It has detailed and documented history right back to 900 AD and proudly holds the record for the oldest pub in Ireland. Renowned for its friendliness and a good pint, I head behind the bar to see if I would make a good barman. Timmy, you're going to show me how to pull the perfect pint of Guinness here in Sean's bar. I am indeed, Alan. You're very welcome to Sean's. Thank you very much. Uh, lovely to see you. So, uh, I've never pulled a pint before, so uh, is there a skill? Yes, if you get the pint glass mm -hmm. at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. There to settle. Now, this is all about the settling, is it? How long does it take to settle it to get the perfect point? One minute, 19 seconds. Mm. Just under two seconds. Two minutes. One minute, 19 seconds, OK. So that's the perfect pint of Guinness. So yeah. it's my turn now. OK. So go. I'm going to give it a go. So this angle? Yep. Straight down. And pour. Straight down. Straight down. Straight down, pour Yeah. Oh, straight down. Oh, <laughs> oh right, OK. <laughs> Look at that. And you let it settle even now just for a second or two more? Need, yeah. And then how long just now? That just a couple of seconds. Just couple of seconds. I, th I think that's pretty good. So do I, Alan. And congratulations, you've handcrafted the perfect pint at Sean's Bar in Athlone. Look at that. Well, here we go to taste me pint of Guinness. Thank you very much, lads. And cheers. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Guinness. <laughs> Put on a few more Guinnesses there, you'll need it to keep people in here.